After we crossed Yamsuf, Miriam, the Nevi'ah, the great Sadiqet, she takes out the musical instruments and she says one pasuk out of the entire Az Yashir, just one. Shiru Ladunai ki ga'o ga'a sus bayam. What in the world is she saying? Why is that? Out of all the pesukim to be said, the one that she's saying. So many pesukim to say, and that's the one that you're repeating from Az Yashir? Um, the whole song, every single pasuk you could have picked. And you're picking the song, Sus Bayam. Horse and rider Hashem threw into the ocean. Why? How about Adonai Ish Milhama? Adonai Shemo? So many people keep it picked. A phenomenal perush. After Kiryat Yamsuf. And we know Kiryat Yamsuf happened in order for us to get to the Torah. Penot Israel were asking what's going on. We love Mitzrayim, beautiful. But we're going to get the Torah. We have nothing to do with the Torah. We don't learn Torah. We're not hayav to learn Torah. We're not hayav in almost uh, many of the mitzvot, or, all, all the, or most of the mitzvot probably. Well, what do we have to the Torah? Nothing. Baruch. We cross the Yamsuf. We are home free. To where? Where are we going? What are we doing? Miriam, she wanted to correct that mistake. And she sings one pasuk. Shiru ladonai ki ga'o ga'a. Who did Hashem drown? Sus rama bayam. The horse and the rider. What did the horse do? The rider was a Mitzri, he's a Rasha. But the horse, innocent horse. What did the horse do that the horse had to get drowned? Without the horse, there is no rider. The horse is an accomplice to the crime. And she's telling them the same way when it comes to bad. Without the horse, there's no bad. When it comes to good, without Benot Yisrael, there, how do you want the good to happen? How do you want everything to happen? Who do you think the horse is? Not that they're a horse, God forbid, but who do you think the one that's moving everything is? That horse power of the house, the engine of a house is the Bat Melech, it's the wife. She gets everything going, the kids moving, the husband becoming a Tamir Hakam. Learning, loving Hashem. It's all the wife. It's all Bishkut, the wife. And you're asking, what do we do now? We cross the Amtsuf. The Torah is not for us. The Torah is not for you. What do you mean the Torah is not for you? If it's not for you, how is the Torah going to be learned? Who's going to take care of the children? Who's going to build the husband? Of course it's the wife. Look at the horse. Without the horse, there's no rider. Without the wife, there's no house. And that's why she sings that Pasuk. It was all in the merit of the righteous ladies. How much kabod we have to have for the nashim tzadkaniyot, for our spouses that work so hard, diligently, with so much effort, taking care of the bayit, building the children, 